Uh, today I'll be going over some differences between Node-RED and Prescient. Uh, if you're watching this video, so I'm I'm sure you're familiar with Node-RED. Uh, Node-RED is an open source flow programming platform. Uh, it has a huge community with tons of users, uh, a big Slack group, and everyone is really helpful. Uh, but if you're un unfamiliar with Prescient, here is a quick introduction. So we build our platform, which is Pression Designer on top of uh, Node-RED. So they are visually similar. We have uh, a midnight theme going on here. So it's basically Node-RED, uh, but it's distributed. And you can scale your whole solution with a single click of button. And I'll, I'll talk about that uh, momentarily. Uh, so Node-RED is open source, whereas Prescient is proprietary enterprise class software. Uh, what that means is we take care of the infrastructure, we take care of we take care of the infrastructure, we take care of the security aspects of uh, application and solution. Uh, we provide support. Uh, we have professional services. Uh, we have private uh, packages, uh, private Node-RED packages. So just to quickly go over here, I can do prescient. And we have some uh, packages for uh, some hardware manufacturers, let's say NCD. And we have some other prep packages that, that are for uh, data analytics, uh, for machine learning, and those are all proprietary uh, to Node-RED. And we keep building pack packages uh, based on our customer requirements. Um, uh, yeah. And we also help customers integrating uh, to integrate third-party uh, third-party software tools like TensorFlow, or uh, they want to talk to some sort of an API. Uh, we help customers do that as well. So, in this video, I'll mainly be talking about a distributed uh, distributed Node-RED, uh, which is where Prescient Designer basically shines. Now, Node-RED is a single instance environment. So you can install Node-RED on a server, you can install Node-RED on the Raspberry Pi, uh, and it'll run. You can make stuff, you can build stuff. It's basically you just drag and drop stuff around and make things happen, right? Uh, so that's when you're dealing with just a single instance. Now, where Prescient comes in is we help you to scale. So what I mean by that uh, is, let's say, you have hundreds or thousands of devices or sources. Let's call them uh, sources uh, because they can be databases, they can be APIs, uh, and they are running in different locations. So how would you manage them uh, using Node-RED? Because Node-RED is a single, uh, single instance application, you'll actually have to log into each of those instances and uh, design the flow there, make sure nothing is uh, breaking, and you'll have to take care of your own communication pipeline. So let's say you want to send data from uh, source A to source B. All of this you'll have to uh, you'll have to manage it uh, yourself. So this is where uh, where Prescient Designer comes in. So before explaining, uh, before going over the features or what or or and how we do things differently. I'll go over a quick architecture of uh, where everything sits in. So hopefully that will help in differentiating uh, Prescient from you know, Prescient Designer, which is a cloud application. And this is how it looks. It's built on top of Node-RED uh, with a midnight black theme. And we also have a Edge software, we call it Prescient Edge. And this is what runs on your Edge devices. Now, they can be uh, devices from Raspberry Pis, or they can be computers, or they can be any sort of sources, right? And once you run our provisioner script on these devices, a communication link is uh, made from cloud to prescient, which is something that we handle uh, in the background. So you don't really have to worry about managing that communication or managing, managing the security of that communication. And once uh, this link is built, you can actually program the whole logic or your whole workflow and application on Prescient Designer. So basically, you're installing our software to your Edge once, and idly, you, you won't have 
you wouldn't have to touch that edge device again and you can control it you can build data pipelines uh, directly straight from the designer i mean if you are plugging in uh, hardware sensors to the edge device then of course you'll have to touch it but anything virtual anything program uh, program uh, programmatic you can do all of that from pression designer itself uh, now coming to pression designer so as you can see it looks exactly night road red we have few things that are happening on the sidebar uh, right here and we also have a navigation panel where you can go to the documentation and the doc our documentation explains everything about everything about the sidebar basically so right now i have a bunch of devices uh, hooked to my designer so all of these uh, devices adam uh, cdev all of these are as devices some of them are on most of them are off so the two devices that are on are uh, jetson and uh, test suit provisioner and this is jetson nano that's uh, right next to me here uh, in my lab so First of all, to provision an edge device, there are multiple ways to provision an edge device. So if you go to system tools, hit provision edge device. Uh, you can provision an edge device uh, using Docker, WSL. If you are familiar with AWS Greengrass, you can uh, use AWS Greengrass, or you can install, uh, you can do a native installation. So that is just running a single uh, script and that will link uh, this edge device to the designer. So once you run this uh, script on your edge device, the device will show up here. And once it show up shows up, you can actually see if it's connected to the internet, if Node-RED is running there, and a few other things about MAC address, IP address, uh, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's say now you have this device uh, uh, available in your designer. So how do you uh, code uh, these uh, device so let's say i just want to pull a basic hello world application i have an inject block i have a debug block and let's do a function where i'm doing now if you're familiar with node red uh, this should be uh like home to you uh, like how to uh, how to code or uh, move blocks around in node red how to attach wires so this is all node reds uh, lingo or node reds feature so i have an inject block and a debug block with a function node that does message of payload is equal to hello world so let's hit deploy so it successfully deploy so once it's deployed you can basically run this and it will say hello world this is a basic hello world in uh, node red so what's happening here is it's this whole block or this whole flow is actually running on the cloud where this pression designer is running so let's say now you want to run this hello world in your uh, jetson jetson nano or the device that you provisioned so all you have to do is you have to make a subflow of that code so i'll create a subflow out of this function so now my function sits uh, under my subflow and now if you double click on the subflow you have this option to select where do you want to ship this code to so you can have a single device like uh, what I'm doing here you can have thousands of devices you can actually upload uh, your device list from a file uh, if you have uh, hundreds of devices but in my case i just want to select my nano so once selected i hit deploy so what will happen in uh, what uh, will happen in the background is this code uh, this this uh, piece of uh, workflow this will go to the uh, the device or the jetson nano that we provisioned and it will run on that jetson nano so in the background, Node-RED is actually, uh, designer is actually pushing uh, this flow to Jetson Nano. So now if I hit uh, inject, so this message that this message is actually coming from from 
from our chest and nano because whatever is running inside the subflow is actually running on on uh, on our edge device which is a jetson so now uh, imagine if you have a very complex code uh, or a workflow and you want to scatter that code to hundreds of devices you can easily just uh, push that code to as many devices as you need so that's the distributed power of uh, pressure designer and doing that we manage everything in the background we manage um, the security, the communication between the edge devices. Uh, you can send data from one edge device to the other edge device. You can send the data from uh, cloud to the edge or edge to the cloud. So the options are uh, options are end endless. Uh, so now you might be asking which uh, which platform is right for you. So to answer that, uh, Node-RED is open source and it requires you to manage infrastructure. It, uh, you have to manage servers, databases, any communication channels. So for a small proof of concept, or let's say a home automation project uh, where data is not that critical, uh, you can definitely get by using Node-RED. It's, it's fun and easy to use. It has a huge community around it. Uh, around it. Uh, and if you're stuck somewhere, you can definitely hop onto the Slack group, and there are uh, there's always uh, someone or the other who's, who'll, who'll help you out. But if you have a large project that requires uh, building data pipelines and managing uh, huge data sources uh, from databases, servers, APIs, dashboards, uh, and where you don't want to manage the infrastructure, Prescient is great. So we solve complex enterprise class uh, data problems and it can be done uh, very quickly. I uh, hope this helped. And for more, more information, please visit the link in the description below. Uh, we have a good uh, breakdown of uh, Node-RED and Pression Designer, uh, just highlighting a few of the things that we uh, do differently. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Uh, check the link out in the description below. Uh, thank you.